Prashant Bhushan, welcome to the news. Sir, you have alleged that Ashish Khaitan, who you've been a colleague with for a long time in the Aam Aadmi Party, wrote a news story for a corporate house for which he was given a sum of money. Mr. Bhushan, where's the proof? See, I have not alleged that he was given a sum of money. What happened was that when this uh, SR internal uh, emails came out uh, recently in January, on which I have filed a public interest petition also, which show that SR was doing uh, many illegal things, including managing the media uh, and getting planted stories, uh, stories planted in various sections of the media. One of the things that came out was that uh, one of the stories that was coordinated, so-called coordinated by the corporate communication department of SR, was the story written by Ashish in the Tehelka issue of December 2011. This story uh, defended SR against the CBI charge sheet on the basis of Salman Khurshid's opinion. Uh, thereafter, uh, it, uh, I learned that uh, SR had paid several crores to Tehelka at the same time that this article was written for their Goa Think Fest. The same opinion of uh, Salman Khurshid was the subject no, no. matter of a charge sheet against Salman Khurshid that we had prepared. No, no, but for which Arvind had fasted for 15 Ma days. Ma Ma Mr. Now, Bhushan. if you put all these facts together... No, Mr. Bhushan. Yes. Mr. Bhushan, sorry to, sorry to interrupt you. Yes. You are usually yes. very exact with the facts. Am I wrong in saying here? I mean, my sense is that there is absolutely nothing to link. There's absolutely nothing, Mr. Bhushan, to directly link the payments made by SR to what Ashish Khaitan wrote. You are putting together a series of different facts well, and saying uh, there is a possible thread that runs through them. But it's a possible thread, Mr. Bhushan. You are a lawyer. You have to be it's exact. Not a, it's not a possible thread. You see, people possible thread, are thread. convicted for even murder on circumstantial evidence. Now look at the circumstantial evidence in this case. Ashish Khaitan writes an article slamming uh, the same Benami company of uh, uh, Reliance called Swan for which the CBI had charge cheated Reliance for having floated a Benami company called Swan in a similar manner. No, but the if same you're... Salman Khurshid had given an opinion in favor of Reliance just as he's, he gave an opinion in favor of uh, SR. Mr. Bhushan. SR similarly floated another Benami Mr. company called Loop. Mr. Bhushan. Mr. Bhushan. The Ashish the... Khaitan berates Reliance, but Ashish Khaitan defends SR. Mr. And Bhushan. Ashish Khaitan writes this article bang after SR gives three all, all of this. Okay, now, their now, now, therefore, the counter question to you, Mr. Bhushan, will be and that SR, all of this, all of this, SR's which you are calling, intern, no, no, just, all, just all on, of this, just hold on, no, no, hold on, no, hold watch, on. Watch, watch, Mr. Bhushan, all of this, which hold you are calling on, hold circumstantial on, evidence, just hold on, amounts, hold on, no, no, okay, complete your point. Uh, hold on, one of us will have to pull back. I'll yes. let you continue. Yeah, please, just hold on, hold on, yeah, at the same time, on 6th. Uh, January 2012, the head of corporate communications of SR, Nancy Jain, sends an email to her bosses saying that in December 2011, she coordinated the following stories with various uh, news uh, media organizations, which included this story written by okay, Ashish. So, now, what does all this add up to? That this was a planted story Mr. by SR? Mi and Mi that is clear from the nature of the story also. See, see Mr. Bhushan. That at the same time, SR okay, paid so, three so crores to Tehelka, I, I heard which, you. Had employed, uh, which had employed Ashish, I, who I, did this story. I heard you. What does this mean? I heard you. What you are saying, Mr. Bhushan, and I, I would not be wrong in, s in saying that you are basically saying there's circumstantial evidence to corroborate your point. But basic issue is this, Mr. Bhushan. Yes. Until today, you are part of the Aam Aadmi Party which spoke time after time against paid news. Today, when you have been expelled yes. from the party, we hear you saying that Ashish Khaitan, who has been your dear colleague, with whom you have shared stages, spoken with, worked with, I presume together, you suddenly say he is a paid news journalist. 
Now, Mr. Bhushan, please answer my yes, question. Now, why now, did you, why didn't you make the, all yes. these disclosures while you were in the party, given the seriousness of the charges? See, I came to know about this uh, fact that Ashish had written the story through this uh, internal email of SR, which we accessed only no, in no, January, but, but Mr. Mr. on the basis of which Mr. I filed a PIS. No, uh, that's, that's at, that time, no. I, that, at that time, I looked at that article. I, did, I, was, I wasn't aware that Ashish had written this kind of an article. Mr. Mr. Bhushan. When I looked at that article, Mr. Bhushan. and I also found that SR had paid 3 crores to Tehelka for their think fest Mr. at this Mr. time. Mr. Bhushan, you're, you're then only the, you're, all the dots connected and I realized, you see, I had always M M held the view till, till last year that Ashish was an excellent investigative journalist. I had even donated to his uh, gulail.com. Precisely. I had given him the certificate that in my view he was the best investigative journalist that we had in this country. How does your opinion when change? when I discovered this fact in January this year, How does I your told my colleagues in the Aam Admi Party about this. This was also written about in no, the no, media. But DNA had done a Mr. Bhushan, story on this. Mr. Bhushan, Mr. Bhushan, just you know, yes. Ashish Ketan reported on the coal scam. Was he a paid journalist then? He reported extensively on the 2002 riots. Was he a paid journalist then? If I am not mistaken, Mr. Bhushan, he testified no, no, in I'm court. Allow me to complete, sir. He testified in court after conducting a series of yes, investigative yes. reports on the 2002 Gujarat riots. Was he a paid journalist then? You are also aware that yes. his sting investigation into the Gujarat riots played a crucial role in nailing Maya Kodnani and Baju Bajrang, uh, Babu Bajrangi after the Naroda Patiya massacre. Was he a paid journalist then? The 70,000 crore investigative scam also followed by Times Now was followed by Ashish Ketan. Was he a paid journalist then? I am not here holding a brief for Ashish Ketan. My only question to you is this, sir. And please give me a broader perspective on this. Has this become a street fight? Yes. Has this become a street fight now, Mr. Bhushan? And now is all the dirt on both sides being picked up? Is it going to be flung? Who does it help? You see, I have told you already that I held Ashish Khaitan uh, to be one of the best investigative journalists in this country. I had even given him that certificate in my speeches in support of his election when he fought the so Lok Sabha does your election. certificate come and go back depending had, on whose uh, side he's fact, on, whether he's with you his... or with Kejriwal? Do you take back certificates he's no, with Kejriwal and against point. you? You see, when I find out, when I find out facts, which I found in January this year, that he had in fact written this article, which from these three circumstances put together, the fact that uh, Nancy Jen says that this was a coordinated article by SR, the fact that at the same time, uh, SR paid Tehelka three crores no. by sponsoring their think fests, and he uses in that article the logic which he had himself refuted in his article against Swan and Reliance. At this point. Where the same opinion of Salman Khurshid was not found fit to say that well, Reliance was also innocent. He had berated Reliance in that article. And now he defends SR for the same sort of fact right. on the basis of Mr. the same Bhushan. opinion of Salman Khurshid. No, no. Therefore, what, what do you make of it? The point is, do I just continue to defend somebody whom I have regarded as a friend, even if I find out, even after I find out that he is involved in what I consider he, to be a paid Have news you article? spoken to him? Have you spoken to him? He says today that he will, he, he says, he knows that you and your father have accumulated a 500 to 700 crore empire by filing PILs. He says, I will leave. These are his words. He will get to the bottom of Prashant Bhushan's 500 to 700 crore empire. He says you accepted two plots of land from Mayawati in Uttar Pradesh free of cost. He says it is you who has to answer allegations, Mr. Bhushan. He can say anything. You see, the point is, if he felt that I had accumulated money because of my PILs, etc. Even if I had 2% of the money that he accuses me of having, I would be very happy. I'm, you see, my father has been one of the highest paid, in, uh, highest income tax paying lawyers in the country, the highest income tax paying lawyers of the country for several years in succession. 
I don't need money. That is why I have been doing PILs. That is why I can afford to do PILs without charging any money. If he felt that I had accumulated money uh, illegally through PILs, etc., why was he seeking my certificates? Why I, was he seeking my donations? Okay, at why this was point. he seeking my help in various kinds of things, etc.? Right, right. At this point, Mr. Bhushan, I thank you and I now get it because I now, please, Mr. if you, Mr. Bhushan, stay on, I'd be very happy. I'd be very happy if you stay on. No, yeah, but, thank but, you. but I have I have Ashish thank Ketan you. now. I'm Ashish Ketan, you say tonight. Ashish Ketan, the ball is in your court okay. now. You say tonight.